Yo, what's up, everyone? Man, super excited to share with you my takeaways from Tony Robbins' Date with Destiny. To provide context, it's a six-day, pretty intense experience where you, you're... Uh, I did the virtual one, which actually ended up being a lot easier because if I need to, you know, like work on some stuff or uh, get a break, you know, I, I can like walk around, make dinner and stuff like that. Like that, so it made it a lot more accessible. But yeah, wanted to share with you some pretty big takeaways I got from that doing that program. And uh, I would say just the the biggest takeaways that I have noticed is just less on the fulfillment of getting external validation and yet less extrinsic motivators and more internal focus. So for me really focusing on family and being the best father that, that I could be and, and best husband is, is really going to be the goal moving forward. Where in the past, the things that, that I was valuing, whether it was unconscious or not, was like seeking validation, seeking the approval of others. And, and that, that was not a, a, a good way to live life. Like, yes, it's led me to, to have a lot of like this, pretty awesome job, a career, I get to travel and all these cool things. But ultimately, it prevented me from what I actually really want, which is just deep, meaningful love with with my spouse, you know, with Sammy. So I wanted to share with you some some cool stuff. So I'm going to share my screen with you all. So we went through this exercise. Oh, let me uh, pull up a bigger one so you can see what it looks like. Got my certificate, which is dope. Okay. So I found, I wrote, I wrote down my mission statement, which was to, let me zoom up on it. The purpose of my life is to be abundant, enjoy the present moment and do good for myself and others. That's, that's a beautiful thing to be able to to be so clear on my mission and just be present. So there's an element of mindfulness and being abundant, right? So to me, that looks like just having a life where I can have, have it all, whether it's being able to have good, really great relationships with my family, have a lot of friends and, and things like that. So I found that to be really cool. And my new towards values and rules are, abundance, connection, generosity, prosperity, gratitude, wealth, adventure, family, grace, mission, growth, compassion, and cheer. So what that means is in order to be happy, to be true to my value, it's just simple things like enjoying music, celebrate, celebrating my success and other success, um, going on vacation, exploration, feeling connected to the universe. So that essentially means being present um, anytime I see or hear or visualize money, I feel abundant connection, just giggling, laughing, smiling, receiving a positive note, seeing someone fully journaling, being in touch with how I'm feeling, generosity, anytime we treat ourselves, um, and giving myself the present of being presence and presence, listening fully. So you, you can see it's a lot more mindfulness and more based on just being meeting myself where I'm at and not thinking about the future so much because there's a lot of anxiety that comes with that. And in terms of prosperity, gratitude, wealth, it's just having that constant reflection, being present to, to every unconditional love, like present. I, I keep noticing, I keep seeing the word present, right? Because it's, it's really something that uh, as a high achiever, we're always thinking about the future and being present actually has me enjoy where I'm at and not rush the process so much. And giving myself space to relax, taking a, taking a walk, breathing the fresh air, being present to nature. Anytime I'm outside, I like that because I get to, to, to enjoy the, the beautiful air forgiveness and noticing beauty. So my top one year goals is to cook dinner 51 times with my beautiful wife in partnership, play and fun, um, publishing my memoir, 
around forgiveness, love, transformation, self-discovery, paying off my credit card debt and knocking down um, the down payment for my house, letting and being able to, these are some away values and rules. So these, these are essentially what we try to resist, the emotions that we try to resist and that like have impact us. So in another way, it's sort of like the blind spots that consume our lives. So judgment, blame, victim, impulsiveness are some of my weaknesses. So what I would like to work on is how to transform these and have awareness around how it's affecting my life. Um, so those are some really good things. And then my power virtues, which will help me reach all these goals is around commitment, passion, honesty, and courage. So commitment hasn't been a strong suit of mine in terms of a lot of different things, right? I guess you can say I'm committed to having fun and committed to my career and things like this, but really it's the commitment to our marriage and our, our relationship together. Passion, that's self-explanatory. Honesty, um, so just being honest with myself and not being afraid of feedback, for instance, and the courage to be vulnerable, continue being vulnerable, doing things like this so that I ultimately it's for myself, but it's also to inspire a generation of men who are open to a lot of these things. And my primary question is how can I fully appreciate the peace in this moment? So there's that element of mindfulness and just being peaceful. Uh, and that looks like it's just being a choice, really. And my relationship vision is to for us, my wife and I to travel across Asia, Japan, Korea, the flexibility, accepting each other for who we are. So there's a, a element of acceptance, love, appreciation, gratitude and adventure. And expressing creativity where our kids can see that we have it all. We don't have to pick between anything and that ultimately whatever you can dream, you can create. So those were some of my takeaways from my vision board. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and I'll be posting more takeaways from Tony Robbins in the future dates as well. Cheers. <laughs>